2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Shalom, Israel. So, you want to grab this? All right, give me Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Because there's a holiday that's coming up, Memorial Day. Why do blacks and Hispanics celebrate Memorial Day, right? Read this. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. This is a man-made holiday, right? So why do blacks and Hispanics celebrate Memorial Day? Because of food. I'm going to tell you straight. Blacks and Hispanics only celebrate Memorial Day because of food. They want a plate of food. That's what you guys like. Read this. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And I, right, there's a key point. It says beware, meaning that it's a warning, right? If a man spoils you. Now, a man created these high, these days for blacks and Hispanics to celebrate. But is those days for us? My brother right here, come here. You record it? Come here, come here, come here, come here. I gotta ask you a question. Read this again. I want you to listen to this. You record it, right? Listen. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. I'm gonna give you a big hint. Who spoiled the people on that side? Thank you. Everybody on that sign. Let's just look. don't pay attention to this sign, right? Let's pay attention to the American blacks, the West Indians, that's the Jamaicans, Trinidadians, the Haitians. Who spoiled these people on this side? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. All right. You said the people that got spoiled. I'm saying that individual people spoiled these people. So we spoiled ourselves? It, it, let me ask you this question, right? When something gets spoiled, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, like spoiled milk. You don't want to drink spoiled milk. So we spoiled ourselves, explain that. There, that's what I'm trying to get at. Other people spoiled us. So who spoiled those type, those people? I'm gonna give you a hand again. Hold this up, soldier. So who spoiled the blacks? Who spoiled the blacks and Hispanics? Huh? The slave owners. The slave owners. What? What? What nationality? What was it? Huh? White. You can say it, bro. You can say it. White people spoiled. Flip it over. Let's get let's get more in debt, right? We got the Arab man, right? Um, go to Joel chapter three. We got the Arab man, right? Listed. You already quoted the white man, listed. The Africans, right? The Africans. They say we African American. Is that or not? Does the African, the people in Africa, claim the blacks? No. All right, good. Read this. I want to get at this. Read this. Joel chapter three verse four. Yay, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Tyre and Zidon is biblical names for the Africans. Read. And all the coast of Palestine, will you render me a Palestine? Arabs, right? So we're talking about these two people, right? We have these two enemies right there. Read. Will you render me a recompense? This is God speaking to the prophet, Joel. Joel, read. 
and if he recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head. A recompense is a payback. God, the mighty God, is going to pay back these nations for enslaving these people. Read this. Because he had taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The blacks and Hispanics were spoiled through slavery. They was robbed. Put this down. Thank you. Thank you. They was robbed. That's how they were spoiled. They was robbed. Read this. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. So now it's talking about the Grecians. Who in history do we know is the Grecian? That is the so-called white man. So the Bible quoted three different races. The Africans, the Arabs, and the so-called white man. Wake up, black and Hispanics. The white man is not your friend. They are your enemies. Give me that Colossians chapter 2. Read this. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. The man that spoiled us is the Arabs. They gave us what? Islam. The man that spoiled us is the Caucasian man. They gave us all these false holidays. How, how are they going to slaughter our people, the Native Americans, and create a holiday called Thanksgiving? Read the Read, read on. And vain deceit after the tradition of men. That is their tradition. That's not something that we're supposed to follow. That's their holiday, read. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Guys, I can ask a question right now. Where can I find Memorials Day in the Bible? Where can I find Thanksgiving in the Bible? Where can I find Christmas in the Bible? If you have, give me, um, give me that Isaiah 41, 21. If you have, if you know, come forth. Come forth. Show me where Christmas is written in the Bible. I can show you where it says don't do it. Read. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 21. Produce your corn. What the Bible say? Produce your corn. So I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you Christians right now. If you could prove Christmas, that we're supposed to celebrate Christmas in the Bible, prove it. Read this again. Produce your car. Where is Christmas in the Bible, my brother? The Bible says produce your cause, meaning you bring in evidence. My sister, come, come forth. Read this again. Produce your cause, say of the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, say of the king of Jacob. Read on. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. So let's see prophecy, right? These different types of religions, Christianity, Islam. Let's see prophecies. Where is a prophecy in the Quran? Where can I find a prophecy in the book of the um, book Quran? Or in the book of dead? Read this, read on. Let them show the former things, what they be, that we may consider them, and know the latter end of them. That's talking about prophecy. So it said, let us show the past, and let's show the future. Where can you find the past and the future? In the Bible. Good. So when you're, in Christ, and when you're in Christianity, they don't tell you about Christ, they tell you about Christmas, but they don't tell you about prophecy. Like this is another question. Why is our people being oppressed? You guys never ask yourself that question? My sis, why is the blacks and Hispanic people are being oppressed? You don't know? You never ask yourself that question? Come here, come, I can't hear you. Speak it loud. Say it. Why, why is the blacks and Hispanics people oppressed? Meaning be, to be afflicted. Meaning that, for example, Trayvon Martin, right? What happened to Trayvon Martin? You don't remember George Zim Zimmerman? You know, um, the, the, what's that movement called? Black Lives Matter? With police pr brutality? Yes. So, why, read this, uh, give me Zechariah 11. So why is our people being shot down in the streets? 
Do you identify yourself as a American black? A Jamaican, which would be a West Indian? What's your nationality? Black. So you'll be from the tribe of Judah. That would be your tribe. That would be your biblical name, your actual name. Because we got American black. What, what name was you looking for, for example? For Indian? Oh, wait. So where your father from? Give me numbers. So you you be from the tribe of Judah, sis. Even though we were mixed with different type of things, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. My brother, come forth. Brothers, come forth. I've seen y'all brothers before, but come forth. Come forth. Read this. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together. So this is the children of Israel, right? Children of Israel. Israel is a man, right? And he gave birth to 12 sons, right? And he's saying to his sons, um, Moses is saying to uh, the children of Israel, come forth, right? Read. On the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Accor so according to your father, that's who you are. So if your, your father is a so-called black man, you'll be considered a black man. Get that? So it go by, it's not going by the woman, it's going by the man. You get it? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.